Although air is invisible, it is always around us. The presence of air can be felt when air blows as wind. Air is made up of gases and other components. Gases make up the biggest portion of air. The gases that make up air are oxygen, nitrogen, carbon dioxide and inert gases such as helium, argon, neon, xenon and krypton. Do you know the percentages of nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide and inner gases in air? Let's carry out an activity to study the percentage of oxygen in air. You need a beaker, a candle and a gas jar. Stick the burning candle in the beaker. Fill half of the beaker with water. Lead the candle. Cover the candle with the inverted gas jar. Leave the candle to burn. After a few seconds, the candle extinguishes and water rises in the gas jar. The water level rises up to about one-fifth of the height of the gas jar. Can you explain why? What can you say about the percentage of oxygen in air? The burning candle uses up the oxygen in the gas jar. The candle extinguishes after some time as all the oxygen in the gas jar has been used up for the combustion of candle. The water level rises to fill up the space that was originally occupied by oxygen. The rise of water level in the gas jar shows that one-fifth of the air is used up in the burning. The air used up is oxygen as only oxygen is required for burning. The water level rises to one-fifth of the gas jar and not to the whole gas jar. This is because only oxygen is used up during combustion and oxygen takes up around one-fifth of the air. Other gases such as nitrogen, carbon dioxide, inner gases are not used up during combustion and this space is filled up with other gases such as nitrogen, carbon dioxide and inner gases. Based on the activity, we can see that oxygen made up about one-fifth of air. Based on the scientific research, scientists have found out that the actual percentage of oxygen in air is about 21%. Are the percentages of each of the other gases are also 21%? Nitrogen makes up the highest percentage of air. Nitrogen makes up about 78% of air. Inert gases collectively make up around 0.97% of air. Carbon dioxide makes up the lowest percentage of air. It makes up about 0.03% of air. Besides gases, there are also other components in air. Water vapour, microorganisms and dust. The quantity of water vapour, dust and microorganisms in the air is very low and varies with respect to the time and location. The amount of water vapour in the air is affected by the climate and weather change. The amount of water vapour in the air can differ widely across the world, from 0% in the desert to approximately 5% in the tropical forests. Thus, in the air comes from soil and exhaust from factories and motorized vehicles. Therefore, the amount of dust in an industrial area 
or in a busy roadway is higher than in a housing area or deserted roadway. There are also suspended microorganisms in the air such as virus and bacteria. Some of these microorganisms can cause infectious diseases such as cough and flu. Let's make a summary on what you have learned. Air consists of gases and other components. The gases including oxygen, nitrogen, carbon dioxide and inert gases. Other components are water vapour, microorganisms and dust.